Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Raw Jog Reviews channel, and today we'll be taking a look at the anime heroes Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece. So taking a closer look at the box, you can see the One Piece logo up here, along with the figure and the accessories. You also get this picture of Monkey D. Luffy, and then down here you get the anime heroes logo along with the name. And on this side of the box, you get this picture of Monkey D. Luffy and his name, along with the Anime Heroes logo up here. And in the back of the box, you do get the One Piece logo, the Anime Heroes logo up here, and then you get pictures of the characters that are within the wave. So here's Ronoa Zoro, Monkey D. Luffy, Sanji, and then you get a bunch of little warnings down here. And on this side of the box, you get in Japanese the Anime Heroes uh, name, and then there's the One Piece logo. On the top, there's the Anime Heroes logo again, and on the bottom is a bigger One Piece logo. So, I'll go ahead and unbox him, and we get on with the review. So here he is, and I'll go ahead and get him out of the plastic. So, here he is out of the box. And you can see the amazing work and detail in this figure. Looks very, very nice. You can see all the, you know, colors that go throughout the outfit. From this red on the shirt and the blue on his uh, shorts. And for an anime character put into a figure form, looks really good. So I'll go ahead and review from top to bottom. So looking at the head, you can see this nice head sculpt on the figure. Looks very nice with all that printing with the eyes, the eyebrows, and the scar below his eye. And then he has his messy black hair. Looks really neat. Going over articulation in the head, he does have a joint here in the neck and in the head. You can see there's him looking side to side, and then all the way up and down. And then here at the neck, he does have his iconic hat, his straw hat. Looks very, very nice, and I don't believe you can take it off. It's meant to be like that, strapped around his neck. And looking at the torso, you can see that he has this uh, X-shaped scar on his chest. And then he has his long sleeve shirt. Looks very nice with this little cuffs at the end. There is some movement here. He has like a ball joint here at the waist. So there's him going side. To side and then all the way back and all the way forward and looking at the arms the arm does go all the way around as you can see it sticks up about there and then he has a double joint here on the elbow so that's as high as it gets and he has a swivel here at the wrist and on this side arm goes all the way around goes up about there he has a double jointed elbow, and then the hand does have a swivel at the wrist. Looking at the waist, he does have this yellow sash that goes around all the way, and it is made of this looser plastic. And then here at the lower waist, he does have a swivel. And looking at the legs, they do kick out into a sitting position. And they do go out about there. And looking at the lower leg, both legs do extend a little bit just by pulling on them, which exposes this double knee. And you get to about there into a kneeling position. There is also a swivel at the knee. And looking at the feet, they do point down about there. They point up about there. And they do have sort of like a rocker ankle on both sides. And going over accessories, he comes with two other pairs of hands. And here's a closer look at the hands. As you can see, these ones are more open, or these ones are more into a grinding position. And to equip the hands, both of his hands are on ball joints that can be pulled off right here at the wrist. So as you can see, there's the ball joint. And then all you have to do is just find the other hand that matches it. So it can be like this. 
the other side as well. All you have to do is just pull off the hand at the wrist and then match it up with the other hand, just like that. So here he is with the open hands. Here he is with the slightly open hands. And finally, the fists. And you can also mix match the hands. So here I put him the fist, along with the slightly open hand. So as an overview of this figure, I think it is amazing. Because if you're a huge fan of the One Piece anime, just like I am, then you're definitely going to want Luffy in your collection. And not only that, this figure is perfect for like stop motion because of all the articulation and the different hands that come along with this figure. And is a great figure overall. But I am going to leave it at that and say so if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you like the content that I'm bringing to this channel so far, be sure to subscribe. And I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I'll catch you guys on the next one.